Hey guys, Tizar211 here, and today I'm bringing you something that I've never done before. I'm going to do a, uh, a spot-on uh, <laughs> character build for a monk. Um, now this is going to be a post-season 1 monk. Uh, the season actually ends today, so technically this is still a seasonal character. But as of tomorrow, all the gear that this guy's wearing will become uh, available um, to uh, anybody who did or decided not to participate in the seasonal shit, um, yeah. And there's a there's a couple pieces of gear that are that are really key uh, that are seasonal. So I'll get I'll get right down um, I'll get right down to the gear and uh, I'll just show you. I obviously have played the shit out of this guy, 208 Paragon level. Now this set's not necessary, but the 500 Dex bonus is nice and that would be these two pieces right here. Um, obviously the shoulders, I had nothing to roll off of them uh, for damage, so I went ahead and uh, rolled health globes and potions onto it. Really not all that important. Um, that's just the placeholder right now. The helmet is can be basically anything. And then we got our uh, critically acclaimed Aurora Boris. Excellent piece of gear. Um, now this is an ancient item. Uh, this is something that was just released with the last patch. That's what these guys are down here. Uh, basically they're uh, souped up legendary items, if you did not know. Uh, the only thing that's really different is that they roll um, higher stats. Uh, for instance, this can roll up to 650 stats. A normal set of bracers, I believe, can only roll up to 500 or so. Um, it's one of the few pieces of gear I found that was a decent replacement. Uh, this set is absolutely necessary. Blackthorn Surcoat. You need that four set bonus for uh, uh, for uh, Torment Six and uh, high level rifting. Um, the you are immune to desecration, molten, and plague monster ground effects is just amazing, <coughs> and it allows you to tank so much more damage. And that would be these three pieces right here. Now the reason I only have to wear three is because I'm also wearing. Um, the Ring of Royal Grandeur, which uh, allows me to reduce the number of items needed for set bonus by one. So that is also a must for this particular build, um, because the Crudest Boots added an interesting effect. Uh, and I believe that these are also available for non-seasonal characters at the moment, but like I said, in a day it's not going to matter. Uh, Mystic Allies summons two Mystic Allies that fight by your side. <clears throat> now when I go through the, the build, you will understand why that's exceptionally important. You can see my two Mystic Allies standing out here. Both fire, so that increases my damage by a lot. As you can see, I'm pulling over a million damage. Um, this right now is just a placeholder. It's a pretty decent weapon. It's very unimportant as to what it is, other than the fact that it has 17,000 life per hit on it, which is actually really important. <coughs> the crudest boots are one of the key pieces, and this is the uh, the main one. This is like the only reason that this build works. <laughs> well, I guess it could work, but this is, uh, yeah, the piece de resistance. <laughs> the the Secondary ability down there, uh, increased maximum stack count of Sweeping Wind by 3 is just amazing. And when you stack that with Sweeping Wind with um, blah blah blah, Blade Storm, it allows you to have over 900, I guess it wouldn't be over 900, it'd be 870% weapon damage that it deals um, per second, I believe. Continuously deal, yes, 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 yes. <coughs> So, that piece of gear is particularly important. Now let's move on to uh, to skills. There we go. Now I'm using Crippling Wave only because uh, that's my main attack and that's my spirit generator. The only reason I'm using that is because it hits a lot more enemies and every third hit dazes them. So that also helps with survivability. And uh, it slows down uh, their attack speed and whatnot. <laughs> and they also take additional damage from all attacks for three seconds, which would also include Sweeping Wind. And then Cyclone, sli blah, 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 Cyclone Strike. Uh, now I use that with Implosion. And as you can see, Implosion increases the distance uh, that you can suck people in, which is uh, very, very important. Um, 
Yeah, because you want as many people around you as humanly possible. And then I'm currently using Mantra of Healing. Uh, that just helps with survivability a little more. I'm doing plenty of damage. And uh, in a group of uh, two, three, or even four, um, they appreciate the extra healing too. And then Sweeping Wind. Bladestorm here is really the only option. Uh, it intensifies the Vortex, because normally it's only... 315 so with the six stacks it would be 630 and like I said this increases it to 870 so that's a significant difference now you could go with any of these but um, I find that blade storm is the best <laughs> and then let's move on to dashing strike now this is important for uh, moving around really fast and the 15% increased attack speed is really nice it helps with single target damage and me for instance it jumps my damage to about 1.2 million uh, when I'm single targeting stuff and mystic ally this this is a big one too your mystic ally splits into 10 allies uh, that's for active uh, mystic allies fight by your side that increases your damage by 10% now that's why the crudest boots are extremely important because that gives you a 20% increase in damage for the two of them obviously very important I'm using I'm currently using uh, six cents again to help with survivability t6 is pretty fucking rough <laughs> so I would suggest not even trying it unless you're rocking eh, I would say about 40 million um, 40 million toughness and approximately uh, I would say 1.5 1.4 million recovery thereabouts and uh, this is also good um, also for survivability while dual wielding you gain 35 percent chance to dodge incoming attacks now if you prefer to use a shield if you happen to get lucky enough for instance to find an ancient um, what the hell was that item called an ancient vengeful wind then uh, yeah that would be that would be ideal obviously uh, and here's Harmony, uh, obviously, again, for survivability. Very, very important to be able to stay alive. And Determination, each enemy within 12 yards increases your damage by 4%, up to a maximum of 20. You always have that many people around you, unless you're, like, at the end of a rift or something like that, especially with Cyclone Strike. It's just amazing how high your damage goes. Uh, I think if I do... Uh, dashing strike into something and I cyclone at least four people into me or five I guess it would be five people into me uh, I pull approximately 1.4 1.5 million damage okay now let's take a little quick look all of those are very important by the way that is the exact build I would use um, you can switch up your passives uh, six cents maybe could be switched out for and possibly seize the initiative. Near death experience is also very good. Um, mythic rhythm is good. Momentum is shit. Uh, and unity is actually really, really quite good if you're running with a uh, four group all the time. But if you're like me and you solo a lot of shit, then it's really kind of a waste. <coughs> now, as far as all that goes, uh. Relent, let, that's not very good. That's not very. That's not important at all. Uh, Guardian already have that. That's not important. Transcendence is all right if you're having problems staying alive. Exalted Soul. If you just put points into Spirit on your uh, Paragon levels, that pretty much uh, takes care of that problem. Um, damage you deal reduces enemy damage that's okay too but basically most monks abilities are all based on damage mitigation anyway so yeah the only skill that I would suggest or the only two skills I guess that you could possibly switch out if you're not having any problems staying alive you can go ahead and switch this off and put whatever mantra on you want um, and crippling wave I actually prefer um, wave of 100 fists or fists of thunder I don't like deadly reach, but uh, the re like, again the reason I'm using that is because it allows you to build the stacks for uh, sweeping wind really really fast. Um, it just seems to work better. <coughs> now I'll go ahead and show you guys some ancient legendaries that I found. This one, 
is actually better than the Gift of Solaria that I'm wearing. However, it does not have a socket on it. I like the, the increased life per hit on it. I like the increased dex. Uh, if I hold shift, you can see that if I put uh, the same gem in it, it's going to increase my damage five, by 5.4%, 5 and my toughness, and my healing, so it's obviously an all-around better weapon. However, I don't have a cube yet. <laughs> so that's waiting to get cubed and uh, get a socket put in it, and that's going to be good to go. Um, this is just another item that I'm holding for um, my monk uh, that is a, that is already a non-seasonal character, so he'll be able to dual wield. Because I am rocking another Vengeful Wind. So I'll basically be able to do the exact same thing with both my monks. Um, again, a Flesh Rake, another ancient legendary item. That's actually a little better, but it does not have any uh, uh, life per hit on it, and I don't. I think I checked, and I can't roll the 35.7% uh, fleet. Blah 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 blah. I can't roll that off for uh, life on hit. So I have kind of decided not to use that one. I haven't really messed with it too much. Um, the gain 510 life per spirit spent. That's all right because you can you can blow through all your spirit really fast just by spamming cyclone strikes so I may actually go ahead and use that one instead but the the loss of the healing is it's that's a big bone <laughs> this is the only two-hander I've been able to find and as you can see the damage on it is just amazing I haven't rolled anything off of it um, because I'm thinking I might uh, save that for uh, a wizard or something and roll the decks off for vitality a wizard or a barbarian or something and uh, here is an item I got from Kadala it's another ancient item and uh, you're looking at blah 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 I have pretty good damage pretty good everything and I'm thinking that that's gonna be an upgrade for my wizard um, that I just kept because it's a set ring and oh I forgot I I did find this this was an upgrade for me the other day uh, that's pretty good too. So now I'm going to skip ahead and do some gameplay with you guys so you can see exactly how um, the build works and how quick it just kind of melts guys on T6. Alright, here we are. And as you can see, I got a big group of guys leached up. Everything just dies quicker than hell. Let's see if I can get another decent pull. That one's terrible. And the Mystic Allies also do damage so they kind of mop stuff up here's a decent group and everything you can see that those guys have well over a million hit points or a hundred million hit points pick that up damn it have well over a hundred million hit points and they're just dying faster than hell regular rifts are not a problem I can easily do up to um, level 29 level 30 rifts by myself Sometimes they can get a little rough depending on the, the mob setup. And here you go, here's, an, here's a rare pack, which is exactly what I was looking for. As you can see, they're not dying super fast, but they are going down, and my health is staying almost completely full 100% of the time. And this guy's Mortar and Desecrate, which is why those Blackthorn set is so important. Otherwise, I'd have to be backing out and splat the only thing that you really have to watch out for I mean look at that guy 150 million hit points and his life just kinda went bye bye ideally what you want to do is you want to move around and keep your stacks of sweeping wind all the time so a lot of times I end up teleporting around with dashing strike as you can see I'm using cyclone strike a lot but once I get everything sucked in now this group is one of the few groups that I have problems with arcane is not good at all and orbiter really hurts too which is why I have the Mantra of Healing on. 
But if you can get get one or two of the minions away, you can go ahead and beat them up. Suck some life back out of them. Also a good reason why Dashing Strike is in this build is to just be able to get out of shit quickly. Now unfortunately if you uh, have any amount of lag sometimes that becomes an issue. Uh, the, the game just doesn't want to let you get out of the shit. But that's basically it. There's some gameplay for you guys. I will go ahead and finish this rift off uh, later. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, this this build is only viable with this item, and or with the Vengeful Wind, and with the Crudus Boots. I guess the Crudus Boots aren't exactly necessary, but I take those off, lose one of my Mystic Allies, and my damage goes under 900k. So if you really want a set bonus or something like that, okay, I get that. <laughs> uh, I understand why you would want to do that. But uh, the 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 added Mystic Ally adds over 130k damage, actually over 140k damage, so kind of a big deal. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this build works out for you. It's worked out beautifully for me. Um, there are still some upgrades I need. I need another gem there. Not really particularly happy with my helmet, seeing as how I don't use Wave of Light. Um, but Eh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you can't win them all, right? There, like again, are, there is room for improvement. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I might do another one of these. Uh, oh, possibly during season two with whatever character I decide to level up and make my main. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be good for you guys. But anyway, until next time, this is Tizar two one one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your mother, tell your friends, tell everybody you know. Until next time, take it easy.